with the click of a button, you can bring down nations to their knees. Hi everyone, good evening. This is Ronnie. Uh, how are you? Uh, I think a great day out there. So being a Thursday, uh, I have something for you today. So guess what? Um, if you know what's going on in Israel, in Hezbollah and those stuff. The Prime Minister of Israel just gave out a warning to to the whole world. Listen to this. He gave out a warning to the world that is gonna destroy anyone by just a push of a button. So I don't know where we're heading to. We we actually support. We nowadays support what's going on, eh? killing of people, uh, massacres, bombing everywhere. Because right now, if you see Gaza, you see um, Lebanon, the same same Israel is bombing those places. Man, it's actually so so disappointing. So just watch this video first before I even complain about that. With the click of a button, you can bring down nations to their knees very rapidly if you so desire and if you're willing to take the risks because every system can be hacked our airplanes our hospitals our cars our banks actually the mo most important word here is our data banks they can be hacked and the possibilities of sabotage and worse are all there Israel is at war. We didn't want this war. It was forced upon us in the most brutal and savage way. But though Israel didn't start this war, Israel will finish it. And so in, the, in some videos, that, uh, um, in some old videos, that uh, Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu wants to liberate Africa from our own uh, corrupt leaders. Uh, sorry for this, the, the voice. I have a problem with my throat today. I'm sure it's tonsils. So imagine he, want, he wants to come and uh, liberate our, 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 our Africa, yeah? our continent. I don't know if it's the idea is welcome or not. We'll see. But as Africans, we need liberation. Our leaders are looting everything, our leaders are thing, taking away everything from us. They're given a tender, they take all the money. This should be tamad. This is, this, is this is an example only. <coughs> so, please, if it's even possible, so, please, if it's even possible, come and teach our leaders a lesson. Hmm? A lesson. <coughs> I don't know what I'm going to take. It's going to be better. It's really bad. So that's what's happening. Mm -hmm. So this uh, Prime Minister is not even remorseful. He dares everyone. He dares uh, the Hezbollah that he's gonna finish them. Africa needs such needs such a man who is fearless, mm -hmm. who defends his people. Not like our leaders who defend them, they will defend themselves. They look for themselves. They want to enrich themselves. You can even see one, even a prime minister in Kenya, or even a, even an MP, yeah, member of parliament, having acres of land, taking away from people, snatching, yeah, yeah, killing those who try to cross their paths. Yeah. The first president was asked if. Uh, if it indeed he supports this fight with Hezbollah, then he goes ahead to defend Israel. He's called, he goes ahead to defend the murders. He goes ahead to defend the massacres. He goes ahead to defend the destruction. Now it leaves me thinking, why is Israel so daring? It's because it has support, support from the West, from the USA. I don't know, but it feels bad. Even if you see the recent videos, it's actually very very bad it's been most of the towns have, have been cleared it's like a, a football field 
rockets in the air. It's, it's really bad. Is Israel trying to escalate into a full-blown war with Hezbollah? Absolutely not. We did not want this war. We're not seeking war. This war was waged upon us by the proxies of the empire of evil of Iran on October 7th by Hamas and on October 8th by Hezbollah and ever since from Lebanon in the north and of course from Hamas in the south and all over the Middle East, the proxies of Iran are attacking and attacking. Now Hezbollah has been attacking us on a daily basis, dem demolishing Israeli villages and towns. Um, basically leading to the eviction of 100,000 Isra Israelis from their homes. Life has been shattered in our northern border. I don't think any American would have accepted it as a, as a kind of a status quo situation in the United States. And at the end, there are things that must be done. The duty of a government or a nation is to take care of its citizens and bring them back home. <laughs> This next video is um, not that uh, it's not a bad video, but now um, the African president, South African president uh, Ramaphosa, uh, condemns what's going on in Israel. He supports uh, peace talks. Uh, he supports that uh, those things are stopped, the fights are stopped, so that the people can be saved. You know, we are Africans. Uh, love, love meddling okay, issues, meddling with other people's issues. <coughs> but at this stage, it's, it's, it's not that bad to defend other countries from destruction of this by Israel. Listen, listen to this video. I'm going with my voice. It's not very clear. Bad from here. It has been 11 months since the Hamas attack that killed 1,200 people and where hostages were taken. As South Africa, we have condemned this attack. In response, Israel embarked on an act of collective punishment in its assault on the people of Gaza. The torment of the people of Gaza continues unabated. More than 41,000 Palestinians have been killed. Homes, hospitals, churches, mosques, and schools lie destroyed. Famine and disease stalk the streets of Gaza. This cannot but shock our collective humanity. The violence the Palestinian people are being subjected to is a grim continuation of more than half a century of apartheid that has been perpetrated against Palestinians by Israel. We South Africans know what apartheid looks like. We lived through apartheid. We suffered and died under apartheid. We will not remain silent and watch as apartheid is perpetrated against others. In this video, please subscribe, please, uh, please uh, like, please share, please. Subscribe, subscribe, okay, subscribe. <laughs>